Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode we're going to be doing block drops and also entity drops and other loot tables in 1.14. So let's get started. So we inside our resources and then data.tutorial mod. You should have created that when you're creating recipes and tags. If you haven't then just create that package data.tutorial mod or data.yourmodid. We're then going to create a new package and this is going to be dot loot underscore tables and then in today's episode we're going to go into two different types if you look at the link in the description minecraft has its own page about loot tables and you can look at the other types of loot tables you can use as well so we're going to create another package called dot blocks and we're going to create a new text file in there Just put a letter and save it. Source, main, resources, data, tutorial mod, loot tables, blocks, and call it whatever block you want to do the drops for. Today we're going to be doing tutorial or. So tutorial underscore or dot JSON. Then close it and reopen it. And then we're now going to create the loop table. So we're going to want to open up a set of curly brackets. Also, I'm using a JSON, a JSON text editor here that I showed how to install in the recipes video. So you can go have a look at that to install this if you don't have it installed already. Then the first parameter is type. So the type of loop table we're creating. And that's going to be Minecraft block. And then pools. So this is going to be, there's different pools that it can choose from. So put a colon after that and then open up some square brackets. There's, that's the list of pools. We're going to then create one, one of our pools, our first pool. So using some curly brackets, that creates one. Then roles. This is the amount of times that it will go through this pool and try and search for more items to drop. So for just a normal block, we're going to put one. As just for a normal block, we're only going to drop the block itself. So we want that to drop every single time you mine it. Put a comma after that. And then entries. This is the list of entries. So another square brackets. And then we're going to create an entry with some curly brackets. And then the type of entry. This is going to be Minecraft colon item it's going to drop an item it will even if it's a block it will always drop the item version of that block so it's always type minecraft item you can also do things like minecraft tag and stuff which i'll show you in a bit and then the name of the item is tutorial mod tutorial underscore or and that's that loot table done so it's a block uh, loot table. We have a list of pools. We create our one pool. It has one roll, and then it goes through the entries and it drops the tutorial R. So that's the simplest type of loot table you can possibly have. And well, you can use that for all blocks that you just want to drop the actual thing itself. Obviously, if you wanted your thing to be like diamonds, you could do tutorial mod tutorial item and it'll drop the ingot itself. Or you can make it drop a Minecraft item. You can make it drop whatever you want. So now we've done the block one. You can go through and do that for all the other different types of blocks. But now we are going to do a special type of one for entities. So we're gonna create a new text file again and save it inside of the entities. And we're gonna call it tutorial underscore entity dot JSON. And then close and open it again. First things first, we're going to open up some curly brackets again. And once again, we're going to have type. And this is going to be a type of Minecraft entity. We're then going to open up our pools. And then create a new pool. Then firstly, roles. Here we're going to actually do something different. 
open up some curly brackets and we can do a minimum and maximum value of rolls and it'll randomize the amount of rolls so we can have one to four different items dropping. So we can do between one and four rolls. And for most values, for all the values that you can just put a single number, you can also do this for min and max as well. Next, there's something called bonus rolls. I'm just going to put a normal value here, but again, you can put min and max if you want. And what this does is if you have a high luck value, so if you're using a fortune pickaxe or other things that affect Minecraft luck value, then there's a chance that you can get two bonus rolls, so you can get two extra items dropping. So that would also be a looting sword as well. Then we've got the entries list, and we're going to have multiple entries here. The first entry is going to be a type, and it's going to be a Minecraft underscore tag. Sorry, Minecraft tag. So remember when we created tags for the, our items and we have a tutorial or tag? So we can have it so it could drop one of our three tutorial ors. So it's going to be name, we'll make sure you put a comma after it, name, tutorial mod, tutorial or, then expand, colon true. Let's say we want any of the values from the tag. And then finally, weight. The higher the weight value, the more chance that um, it has of dropping this compared to the other items and the other entries in this entry list. So we want this tutorial or to spawn quite a lot of the time. So we'll put weight 100. And then the other special items, you want to have a lower weight so that they spawn less frequently. It, they drop less frequently. Between type and name here, we're going to do something called functions. This allows you to change different parameters of the um, drop. So open up in curly brackets again. This function is going to be Minecraft set count. And this is just going to be how many items we want this to drop. How many of this item we want to drop. So you can just do a, a static number. So just two or three or something like that. Or you can do a mere max value. So this is just the count. And I'm going to open up some square brackets. Oh, sorry, this needs to be curly brackets, not square brackets. There we are. So minimum one, maximum five. So we can drop between one and five of our tutorial R. And that's the first entry. So you can put a comma after this entry and create a new entry. So again, we're going to have this time a type of Minecraft item. And then we're going to create some functions for this. So there's lots and lots of functions. Again, you can find the documentation linked in the description. There's function called minecraft set damage and then damage this is a percentage so just a decimal value between zero and one that tells you how much of the um, durability you want to have left so i'm going to set the damage to 0.01 so the item's durability will be at one percent so it won't be able to use very many times Next, we can do the set name function, and then name. This is just a string. You can put whatever you want. I'm going to call it the Sword of Justice. So that'll be what it's been renamed to, just like you would do in an anvil. Then I'm going to use this function, which is very versatile, which is function Minecraft set NBT. So this works exactly the same as how it would in a command block. If you wanted to spawn yourself a sharpness 100 sword, you would do it like this in a command block. So this takes a tag parameter, it's a different type of tag, it's an MBT tag. As you can see here, I'm gonna paste in this in. 
enchantment id sharpness level 1000 there's tutorials on how to create these type of swords and stuff like that in minecraft and it works exactly the same just using the code here so this will give me a sharpness 1000 sword called the sword of justice that only has one percent of its damage left again there's documentation on how to do lots of more of these functions linked in the description so now below functions we just need a name of the item so it's going to be tutorial mod tutorial sword and then the weight here how often you want it to spawn we can say 10 so this is what will happen when we kill our entity it will roll between one and four times and based on your luck value it might roll another two times as well it will look through and it will drop um, our tutorial or um, 100 out of 110 times and it will drop our sword of justice 10 out of 110 times so now we've done that we can then boot the game and have a look at what happens when we break things and kill the entity as well so here we are we have our tutorial or if we go into survival we need a pickaxe as well place it down and mine it it drops our tutorial law we now have block drops working if we spawn our entity and kill it as you can see there it dropped the sword of justice sharpness enchantment level 1000 it does 511 and a half attack damage if we get a few more of them this time it decided to drop two um, tutorial end ores and one tutorial nether ore. So that is all loot tables working as well as block drops. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials. I will be trying to make more videos um, coming quite soon. So thanks for watching. My name has been Harry and goodbye.